we're going to pull our mat over to the wall for legs up the wall to open up our hamstrings. Let's bring our mat to the wall. Take a second to bend the knees and slide the legs up the wall. Feet hip distance apart. Let's dorsiflex the feet. Tip your tailbone towards the wall in front of you. Lift up your low abs to maintain this pelvic tilt towards the wall in front of you. This is going to allow a little lumbar extension to keep your low back safe. You can keep a micro bend in the knees, opening up the posturally tight hamstrings here. Breathe with me. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. We inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Three more breaths here. Quiet the mind. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, keeping that pelvis neutral. And exhale, two, three, four, five. One more breath here. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Brace the abs, slowly bringing the legs off the wall. We'll pull, pull our mat to the center. And we'll set up for some ab work. Starting on our backs, supine, tipping our tailbone down towards the heels, creating that mouse hole between the low back and the floor. Take the hands behind the head, cradling the head. From here, we're going to crunch up slowly. Two, three, hold at the top for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And lower the upper body, rest for five, four, three, two, one. Again, inhale, crunching up, this time twisting to our right, holding for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, take a moment to check your low back. There should be some space between the low back and the floor. If there isn't, Tip your pelvis down towards your heels. Pull the belly in towards the spine. Lift in and up on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Fog a mirror as you crunch up, twisting to the other side, holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And lowering down, tip the pelvis towards the heels, pull the belly in towards the spine. Lift in and up on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Coming back up center. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower down, rest for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This time we'll keep the upper body down with the hands by our side, pressing the palms heavy into the floor, floating our legs up to tabletop while still keeping our pelvis reaching towards the bottom of the mat with the mouse hole between the low back and the floor. Dorsiflex your toes, knees tracking over the hips, brace your abs, begin to bicycle for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Feet to the floor, tip the pelvis towards the heels, pull the belly in towards the spine, lift in and up on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Again, floating the legs up to tabletop, dorsiflex the toes, knees tracking over hips. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, bicycle for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower the legs. Rest for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, prepare. Float the legs back up. Brace the abs. And here we go. Bicycling for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Lower the legs, tip the pelvis towards the heels, pull the belly in towards the spine, lift in and up on those muscles that stop your stream of pee, fogging a mirror as the legs float back up. Final set here, inhale, prepare, dorsiflex the toes, brace the abs, 
Bicycle for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Brace the abs, lower the legs. Rest again for five, four, three, two, one. From here, inhale, prepare. We're going to put our crunches with the twist together with our bicycle. So it'll look like this. Watch me one time. Inhale. I crunch up. My head supported by my hands. I'm leaning my head back into the hammock of my hands. Elbows are wide. Shoulders are plugged down. Low belly's firm. Pelvis is in neutral position, so no arching, but no rounding and flattening the low back into the floor. Feet are dorsiflexed. We're breathing. Inhale, prepare. Ten bicycles with the torso twist. Ten, nine, eight. So you get the gist now. I'm going to lower down. Let's breathe together. Inhale, prepare. Brace the abs, lifting up. Soften your sternum inward. Mid-back pressing into the floor. Shoulders plug down. Elevate them and then plug them down. Here we go. Dorsiflex the toes. Inhale. Exhale, bicycling for 10, 9, 8. Add that torso twist. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower down. Rest for 5, 4, Three, two, one. Inhale, belly in, lifting back up. Brace those abs. And we bicycle for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower down, rest for five. Check your pelvic position. There should be a little space between the low back and the floor. With the belly pulled in towards the spine and lifting up way below the belly button on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Lifting back up. And we bicycle again for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower down. Rest for 5, 4, Three, two, one. Beautiful. And final set. Take it up and we go for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take your break for five, four, three, two, one. Abs engaged, rolling onto your side. Extend the bottom arm out to rest the side of the head on. Bring the other hand by your side. Legs are long. Feet are dorsiflexed. Legs are together. Imagine you're between two panes of glass. Inhale, lifting both legs up. Feet are dorsiflexed. Hold, hold those legs up, engaging those internal obliques. And inner thighs for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Lower the legs. Rest for five. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, prepare. Lifting back up, dorsiflex toes. Deep lift way below the belly button on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Holding for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Rest for five. Four, puff your shoulder blades back. Imagine you're wearing a backpack of cement. Don't get that forward lean, but also soften the sternum, the breastbone, the front ribs in towards the back body. Elevate your shoulders and then plug them down for me. Final set, low belly firm. Take it up. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower down. Brace your abs. Let's go to the other side. Spinning around, setting up yourself up for success by checking in with the checkpoints. Dorsiflex feet, soft knees, legs stacked, low belly in, neutral pelvis somewhere between rounding and arching. Way below the belly button, active lift in and up on the muscles that stop your stream of pee, puffing the shoulder blades back, closing the front ribs in towards the back body, elevating the shoulders and then actively plugging them down, keeping the chin lifted to involve the underactive neck flexors. Here we go. Take it up. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower the legs. Rest for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale. Take it up. Hold for 10, 
nine eight seven six five four three two one lower down rest for five four three two one shoulders down lift up 10 seconds on the clock puff the shoulder blades back pull the core in legs together feet dorsiflex chin lifted gaze soft lower the legs rest for five four three two one great work let's find our way onto all fours cat and cow for our breathing we are going to Inhale into a cow pose, pulling the shoulder blades together, lifting the chin and chest as the tailbone reaches for the sky. Low belly is in. Way below the belly button, we're lifting in and up on the muscles that stop our stream of pee. Exhale, brace the abs, moving into flexion both in the pelvis and allowing scapular winging, the shoulder blades to pull apart as the eyes gaze through the legs. Couple more of those. Let's go on a tempo. We'll inhale. As we go into cow pose, two, three, four, exhale, cat, two, three, four, inhale, cow, two, three, four, exhale, cat, two, three, four, two more, inhale, cow, two, three, four, exhale, cat, two, three, four, inhale, cow, two, three, four, exhale, cat, two, three, four, brace your abs, find a neutral pelvis, puff the shoulder blades up, plug the shoulders down, lift the chin, involve the neck flexors, extend the right arm and the, the left leg out, dorsiflex the toes of the left leg, pull the abs in, square your pelvis to the floor, hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bring the limbs in, switch sides, Hold them out, square that pelvis to the floor, lift up way below the belly button on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it in, rest for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch sides, take it out, dorsiflex the toes, 10 seconds on the clock, square that pelvis to the floor, puff the shoulder blades up towards the ceiling. Elevate the shoulders, plug them down, lift the chin, lower those limbs, switch sides. Take it up, palm is facing in towards the face, chin is lifted, gaze is soft, front ribs are reaching through the body towards the back ribs, shoulder blades are puffing up, lower those limbs, move back into that cat and cow, inhaling into cow, two, three, four, exhale cat, two, three, four, inhale cow, two, three, Four, exhale cat two three four inhale cow two three four exhale cat two three four one more inhale two three four and exhale two three four find a neutral pelvis puff the shoulder blades up one more set on each side extend find your pointer dog position brace the abs dorsiflex toes 10 seconds on the clock Front ribs reaching through the body towards the back ribs, back ribs and shoulder blades puffing up, shoulders plugging down, collarbone staying wide. Lower those limbs, switch sides. Set yourself up for success, lifting the low abs in and up, keeping the collarbone wide. Beautiful, holding for another five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, prepare, stepping back into plank. Brace your abs. Lower your chest down to the mat. You can lower the knees if needed. From here, we'll take the hands right by the chest. Soft bend in the elbows, bracing the abs. If you have any knee or back issues, keep your legs hip distance apart. Pushing yourself up to upward facing dog, holding at the top for 10. Puffing the shoulders back. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, lower down slowly, rest at the bottom, create a pillow for the forehead, brace the abs, wag the hips side to side for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, brace the abs, back to upward facing dog, hold it at the top for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five more seconds, puff the shoulder blades back, elevate the shoulders, and then plug them down. Lift the chin, brace the abs, lower yourself down slowly. Pillow for the forehead, abs engaged, 
Wag that, wag those hips side to side for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Extend one arm, rolling back onto your back. We're going to hug our left shin in towards our chest, brace our abs, tip our tailbone, tip our tailbone towards the left. As the left leg crosses the body, we open our arms out to a T with the wrist below the shoulders. Elbows soft. Turn our head to the left in the direction we're tipping our tailbone. Belly is in. We're lifting up on the muscles that stop our stream of pee. We're going to incorporate a transcendental meditation mantra here. Say out loud or in your head the word so hum. Again, say so hum. Hum. One more time, really listen to yourself say it. This is meant to help you get into the mystery of the moment, clear the mind, to create more patience, balance, and enjoyment. We're going to inhale thinking the word so and exhale thinking the word hum. Join me here. Abs are engaged way below the belly button. We're lifting in and up on the muscles that stop our stream of pee. Inhale, think so, two, three, four, five. Exhale, think hum, two, three, four, five. Inhale, so, two, three, four, five. Exhale, hum, two, three, four, five. Inhale, so, two, three, four, five. Exhale, hum, two, three, four, five. Brace the abs, move through center. Hugging the right shin in, crossing the right leg across the body, arms to a T, micro bend in the elbows, turn the head to the right, tip your tailbone back to your right, low belly in, way below the belly button. We're lifting in and up on the muscles that stop the stream of pee. Revisiting that transcendental meditation mantra. Inhale, think so. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, think hum. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, think so, two, three, four, five. Exhale, think hum, two, three, four, five. Two more breaths here. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Brace your abs. We'll roll back through center. Coming into a side forearm plank with our right forearm down, elbow under the shoulder, left arm right at the side of the body. Elevate the shoulders, then plug them down. Pull the core in. Lift in and up on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Coming up into your side forearm plank, holding, stretching that top arm overhead, that left arm. Plug the shoulders down. Chin can go down on the diagonal, up on the diagonal, or stay centered. Lower yourself down. Rest for five. You can roll that right shoulder if you'd like. Four, sitting up. Three, Two, get back, set up, leg stack, feet dorsiflexed, abs engaged, lifting up, holding for 10 seconds at the top, chin up or down on the diagonal, involving the neck flexors, collarbone wide, front ribs reaching through the body towards the back ribs, back ribs, shoulder blades puffing back, lower down, rest for five, four, three, two, one, one more set here, take it up, hold it up, low belly firm, just 10 seconds on the clock. Chin is lifted, gaze is soft, front ribs reaching through the body towards the back ribs. Beautiful, holding another three, two, one, lower down, rest for five, four, three, two, one. Let's take it to the other side, setting yourself up, forearm on the floor, elbow under the shoulder, top arm stacked on top of that right thigh, feet dorsiflexed. Front ribs reaching for the back ribs, shoulder blades puffing back, back ribs puffing back. Shoulders elevate, then plug them down, lift the chin, take it up, 10 seconds on the clock. Low belly is firm. Don't let the gaze drop. That's going to cause the chin to rest on the chest. We want some space. We want the neck flexors to build some strength. Lower down, rest for five, four, three, two, one. Again, take it up, hold at the top, 10 seconds here. Puff the shoulder blades back, feet dorsiflexed, low belly firm, lifting up way below the belly button on those muscles that stop your stream of pee. 
holding for another three, two, one, lower down, rest for five, four, three, two, one, final one, take it up, 10 seconds on the clock, use your core, imagine you're between two panes of glass, that top arm of course can go overhead, chin can go up or down on the diagonal, neck flexors involved, chin lifted, holding for another three, two, one, lower down, rest for five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Let's come to lie on our back, supine for banana pose, opening up the posturally tight lats and side body for deeper expansion in our breath and the hip flexors, which can get tight if we're seated a lot for work or travel. With our legs hip distance apart, we'll start by taking our body to the right, bending the body to the right, and that is both the lower and upper body, creating a banana shape. So take your legs to the right corner of the mat and your torso. Arms are overhead. Feel free to micro bend the elbows if you find that the arms cannot rest on the ground. We don't want them up in the air. So bend the elbows as much as you need to keep your arms on the ground and your head centered between them. From here, we'll cross our left ankle on top of our right. Brace the abs and guide that left hip down towards the floor, intensifying the stretch in the hip flexors. This is going to probably be felt due to your flat back posture more intensely in the side body rib cage area where you are posturally tight. However, there may be a bit of a stretch, a minor stretch in that hip flexor as you guide that hip down. Breathe with me here. Let's do a Gratitude practice, inhale, think of someone you're grateful for. Exhale, think or say their name. I am grateful for, exhale, two, three, four, five. I am grateful for, think or say their name. I am grateful for, think or say their name. Brace your abs. Slowly bring yourself through center, setting up for your banana pose on the other side. Remembering to keep the arms on the ground, elbows soft, chin lifted, back ribs imprinting into the floor. Cross that right ankle over the left this time. You can dorsiflex the toes or relax them. Guide the right hip down to the mat. Firm the low belly in towards the spine, lifting up way below the belly button on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Revisiting our gratitude practice. Inhale, I am grateful for... Exhale, think or say their name. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Three more breaths here. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, brace your abs, moving through center, rolling off to one side, finding your way onto all fours, wrist under shoulder, knees under hips, tops of shins down on the floor, toes tucked under, walk each hand forward a foot, brace the abs as you send your pelvis up into downward facing dog. Tip the tailbone up, firm the low belly, keeping the knees bent, pedal the heels, two, three, four, five, pause the pedaling, tip the tailbone up, inhale, two, three, four, five, soften your sternum and pedal, two, three, four, five, inhale, pause the movement, push the hands down and out as if you're trying to split them out in half, free the neck, pedal, two, three, four, five, keep that tempo going every time you inhale and you stop the pedaling, Reset that pelvis by tipping it up and firming way below the belly button on the lower pelvic floor. Here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. We inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Nice. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Three more sets here. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, last two here, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, 
four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Brace the abs. Lower onto your knees. Step your right leg forward, straightening your back leg. Brace the abs, arms up overhead. Inhale. Rising up into your high lunge, crescent lunge. Brace the abs, hands to the hips. Step the back leg forward. Make your way over to the wall. We're going to move into a wall pier. Form a stretch. I'm going to turn and face you just to show you what's happening. I'll cross my left leg over first. So it looks like this. And now I'll stand profile to the wall. So I'm going to stand with the left side of my body. So my inside leg is the one that's going to cross over. You'll see that my foot's dorsiflexed. flexed. My right leg is my outside leg. Now the right arm, it can be up in shoulder flexion or at the side of the body. You choose. Hold for 10, 9, 8, sitting back, let the inner thighs pull you back, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stand up, turn around, switch sides, inside leg crosses over, foot dorsiflex, low belly's firm, tip the tailbone back, lifting up way below the belly button to pull you into that posture, hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, rising up back to the first side, some things to think about. Set up, let's get started as of now, 10 seconds on the clock. Puff the shoulder blades back, lift the chin, elevate the shoulders and then plug them down. Relax the front ribs in towards the back ribs. Make sure the foot's dorsi flexed. Holding for another three, two, one, uncross the leg, turn around. Setting up, 10 seconds on the clock, dorsi flex the foot, inner thighs pull you back. Hold it here. Where are you holding tension that you could let up a little. See if you can soften your chest, your facial muscles, your jaw, your eyes in the sockets. Pull the shoulder blades together. Let's come out of that. From here, we'll turn and face the wall with our feet hip distance apart, stepping our right leg back into a lunge, pulling the core in, put a backpack of cement on, no forward leaning, pull the shoulder blades together, drive the pelvis forward as you drive that back heel down towards the floor, Stretching out the posturally tight gastric nemius. Breathe with me. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Good. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Drive that pelvis forward. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Last breath here, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Soft bend in the back knee, brace the abs, step that leg forward, feet hip distance apart, deep lift way below the belly button on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Stepping the other leg back, high lunge, low belly firm, no forward lean. Reach the front ribs towards the back ribs. Take the gaze of the eyes a little higher than eye level. Hold it here. Breathing. Your choice of just focusing on the breath. Adding a little transcendental meditation. So adding a mantra. Inhale, think so. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, think hum. Two, three, four, five. Clearing the mind so you can live in the mystery of the moment. Or inhale, think of someone you're grateful for. Exhale, think or say their name. Gratitude, transcendental meditation, or breathing. Your choice. Here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. We inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep the pelvis driving forward. Wear your backpack of cement, no forward lean. Two more breaths here. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. We inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, prepare, brace the abs, stepping the back leg forward. We're going to make our way to the top of the mat. Inhale, feet hip distance apart. Go ahead and step your dominant leg back. Brace the abs, hands can come to the front leg's thigh. Lift up way below the belly button on the muscles that stop your stream of pee to lower the back knee to the floor. 
Bringing the other leg back, rising up on your knees. Great work. Two options. The first, you can stay seated, dorsiflexing your feet, working on combating that plantar flexion in the ankles, or you can do a toe sit, um, toe sits with me. We're going to sit back on the toes, like so, holding for 10, 9, 8, 7. Keep going. If you're seated, just dorsiflex your feet. Brace the abs, sit up tall, and release that so you can release the toes down for a second. Resting for five, four, three, two, one. Brace the abs coming back into it. Holding for 10, nine, eight, seven. Puff your shoulder blades back. Use your inner thighs by pulling them back. Lift up through the low abs. Three, two, release the toes, relax for five, four, three, two, one. If you're seated, you're just dorsiflexing those toes. Set up again. Here we go. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Resting for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One, set up again, repeat for 10, 9, 8, 7. Use your core, don't sit into it. Puff your shoulder blades back, widen your collarbone. Plug the shoulders down the back. Okay, come out of it, rest for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Final set here, tuck those toes under, 10 seconds on the clock. Puff the shoulder blades back. Pull the low belly in. Lift up way below the belly on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Widen your collarbone. Fog a mirror with every exhale. Keep that going. Inhale. And exhale. And let's come out of that. From here, we'll rise up on our knees. And we'll step our right leg forward as if we were proposing, bringing our hands either to our hips or to that front leg's thigh, straightening the back leg, brace the abs, rising up into a lunge, step that back leg forward, turn and face me, feet hip distance apart. We're going to do a step to balance in the frontal plane with bicycle legs. Take the hands behind the head and lean the head back into the hands like they're in a hammock. Stepping to your right onto a perfectly parallel leg with a soft bend in the knees. Put your backpack of cement on, firm your low belly. Inhale, prepare with me. Left leg is in knee flexion, toes are dorsiflexed. Bicycle that leg, one, two, pause, inhale. And exhale, bicycle for two. Inhale, pause for two. Exhale, bicycle for two. Inhale, pause. Travel to your left, find your balance in knee flexion. Put on that backpack of cement, firm way below the belly button, lift up on the lower pelvic floor, soften your supporting knee. Inhale, exhale, bicycle for two. Inhale, pause, exhale, bicycle for two. One more, inhale, pause, exhale, bicycle for two. Let's repeat, stepping to your right again. I'm going to let you go at your own tempo with the bicycles, three sets, two bicycles with each set. Pausing on the inhales, puff the shoulder blades back, elevate the shoulders if you'd like, or plug them down, and then plug them down. So elevate and plug, pull the shoulder blades together, brace the abs, you should be about done now. Let's travel to the left, finish up this set, find the balance first, lean the head back into the hammock of the hands, take your gaze a little higher than eye level, firm the low belly in and up, and bicycle on your exhales, bracing the low belly. Also, tip your pelvis back. Make sure you're not tucking your butt under like a scared puppy. We want a little bit of extension to combat the chronic pelvic flexion and the lumbar issues we have as a result. One more breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Let's let that go. Coming to the top of our mat, bracing our abs, stepping our left leg back into a lunge, hands to the hips or the front leg's thigh, slowly lowering that back knee down. Take the hands to the floor and step back into a plank. Hold it here. Ten seconds on the clock. Puff the shoulder blades up. Plug the shoulders towards the ears and then plug them down the spine. Soften the heart inward. Soften the front ribs inward through the torso towards the back body. Lengthen those legs. Lower the knees down. 
rounding the spine and arching it. Your breath is inhale to arch, two, three, four, exhale, round, two, three, four. Inhale, arch, two, three, four, exhale, round, two, three, four. One more. Arching, two, three, four, and rounding, two, three, four. Brace your abs, stepping back into your plank. Push the hands down and out. 10 seconds on the clock. Firm the low belly, way below the belly button. Lift in and up on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Fog of air as you exhale. One more breath. Inhale. And lower those knees back into cat and cow. Inhale. Cow pose. Two, three, four. Exhale. Cat pose. Two, three, four. Inhale. Cow pose. Two, three, four. Exhale. Cat pose. Two, three, four. And from here, stepping back, final plank, brace the abs, puff the shoulder blades up, plug the shoulders down, fight for the front ribs to reach through the body towards the back body. Lift your chin, involve those underactive neck flexors, and slowly lower the knees, rising up onto the knees, step your right leg forward, hands to the hips or to the front leg's thigh, straighten the back leg, bracing the abs coming up into your high lunge. Step your back leg in, turn and face me, Cross the left leg behind the right, bend the knees, tuck the booty under like a scared puppy, drive the pelvis forward. Take the arms up, right hand grabs that left wrist, side bending to your right, breathe with me. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Nice, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, brace the abs, bring yourself center, uncross the legs, roll the shoulders back, four, five, four, three, two, one, soft bend in the knees, right leg crossed behind the left, tuck the booty under like a scared puppy, drive the pelvis forward, take your arms overhead, left hand grabs right wrist, side bending to your left, breathe with me, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Two more breaths here. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Last breath here. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Brace your abs. Bring yourself back to center. Lowering the arms. Roll the shoulders back. Four, five. Soft knees. Four, three, two, one. Bringing yourself over to the wall. Arms and cactus. Imprint the tailbone. The mid back. The upper back. The backs of the arms and hands. Firm your low belly in and up. Active lift of the lower pelvic floor. Widen your collarbone. Focusing on imprinting. For 10, active imprinting, 9. So imprinting is like you're pushing the back body into the wall and softening the front body towards the back body. Step away from the wall. Take your hands to your shoulders and circle your elbows back for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back to that wall imprint with cactus arms. Hold it for 10, 10, se 10 seconds on the clock. Imprint that tailbone, mid-back, upper back. Widen your collarbone. Soften the front ribs in towards the back body. Lift the chin. Soften your gaze. And step forward. Hands to the shoulders. Circle the elbows back for five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. One more time. Wall cactus. Find that imprint. Hold that imprint for ten seconds. Tailbone, mid-back, upper back, backs of the arms, front ribs, Breastbone and sternum reaching through the body towards the back body. Back body, shoulder blades, back ribs imprinting. Chin lifted, gaze higher than eye level. Step away from the wall. This time with a soft bend in the elbows, full arm circles back for 10, 9, soft knees, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great job. Bring your back against the wall. We're going to do some wall squats. You're going to want to walk your feet forward a bit and keep them hip distance. Palms are going to be forward by the side of the body. Inhale, prepare 
If you have knee sensitivity, then just don't go down as low. The goal is to get the thighs parallel to the floor. However, if this bothers the knees, again, decrease your range of motion. Take it down. We've got 10 seconds on the clock. Firm the low belly. Make sure the tailbone and the shoulder blades and the back of the head are connected to the wall. The front ribs are reaching through the body towards the back ribs and the back ribs are imprinting. Inhale with me. Brace the abs. Exhale. Stand up. Don't lock the knees out. Rest for five, four, three, two, one. Set back up. Inhale. Prepare. Exhale. Inner thighs. Pull you back. Imprint the center of your upper back. The tailbone, pull the belly in towards the spine, lift up way below the belly button on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Inhale with me. Exhale, stand up. Don't lock those knees out. Rest for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, setting up and taking it down. Hold it down for 10 seconds, fighting for that imprint. Fighting for the deep lift way below the belly button on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Keep the collarbone wide. Low belly firm. Brace the abs. Inhale with me. And exhale, standing up, resting for five, four, three, two, one. Final set. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, inner thighs pull you back. Imprint tailbone, mid-back, upper back. Widen the collarbone. Keep the chin up. Soften the gaze. Low belly in towards the spine. Really relax the front ribs in towards the wall. Inhale. Exhale. Brace the abs. Stand up with me. Rest for five, four, three, two, one. Stepping away from the wall. Standing in the center of the mat facing me. Feet hip distance apart. Extend your right toes to me, pointed. Now, we're going to take a turn in the transverse plane. So the right toes are going to go from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock as the left leg comes up to knee flexion. Arms are going to go out to a T, and I'm going to cross that left ankle over my right thigh. Dorsiflexing the foot and holding for three full breaths. I'll turn around to face you just so you see... The piriformis stretch. The goal is to open the outer hip to work the inner thighs and the lower pelvic floor. Right toes facing me, pointed at 12 o'clock. Take them to three. Left leg up immediately. Find the balance. Cross that left outer ankle over the right thigh. Dorsiflex the toes like a dorsal fin. Inhale. Let your inner thighs pull you back. Tip your pelvis back so it doesn't tuck and round under. We're here for three full inhales and exhales, puffing the shoulder blades back, softening the sternum and breastbone in, keeping the chin lifted. Turn around and face me, left toes forward and pointed, take them from 12 to 9, right leg up immediately, cross that right ankle over the left thigh, dorsiflex the toes, sit back, breathe with me. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. We inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and the arms are in a T, brace the abs, and turn around to face me, first side again, right toes at 12, inhale, prepare, take them to three, left leg up immediately, cross it over, arms in a T, tip the pelvis back, puff the shoulder blades back, lift the chin, widen the collarbone, firm the core, one more breath, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, Four, five, beautiful, turn to face me. Extend the left toes. Inhale, take them from 12 to nine. Right leg up immediately, find the balance. Cross the right ankle over, dorsiflex the toes. Inner thighs pull you back. Inhale, pelvis grounds down. Two, three, four. Exhale, inner thighs pull back. Two, three, four. Inhale, pelvis grounds down. Two, three, four. Exhale, inner thighs pull back. Two, three, four. Rising up. Stand at the top of your mat, feet hip distance apart. Step your left leg back into a lunge, hands to the hips or front leg's thigh. Inhale, slowly lower that back knee to the floor. We're going to come into a regular side plank, starting with our dominant hand first down. We'll stretch our top hand overhead, getting a nice side body stretch. Dorsiflex your feet, stacking the feet. Take it up, holding for 10 seconds. Breathe with me here. Imagine you're wearing a backpack of cement, so don't round forward. Keep the shoulders plugged down, the shoulder blades puffing back. Lower yourself down. 
Roll that shoulder of the working side for five, four, three, two, one. Set back up, wrist under shoulder, low belly firm. Lift up, hold for 10 seconds, dorsiflex those toes. Keep the low belly in, puff the shoulder blades back, lift your chin, don't let it drop. Inhale, lower down slowly, roll the working arm shoulder back for five, four, three, two, one. Final set, set it up, take it up, 10 seconds on the clock, use your abs, find the balance at the top, flex toes, deep lift of the core, way below the belly button. And slowly lower yourself down. Roll that shoulder back again for five, four, three, two, one. We'll spin around, taking it to the other side. Set yourself up. Wrist under shoulder. Soft micro bend in the elbow of your supporting arm. Take the other arm overhead and shoulder flexion. Here we go. Ten seconds on the clock. Option to turn the head up or down on the diagonal, whatever feels best. Lift your core muscles in and up. Don't hang the belly forward. It's going to put pressure on the back. Tip your pelvis back and pull the belly in towards the spine. Slowly lower yourself down. Roll that shoulder back for five, four, three, two, one. Set back up and take it up. Ten seconds on the clock. You've got this. Breathe with me. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, Four, five, brace the abs and lower yourself down to the floor. Roll the shoulder back for five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful final set. Set it up. Stack the legs. Dorsiflex the feet. Low belly firm. Put on that backpack of cement. Ten seconds on the clock. Are you breathing? Where's your head in space? Can you involve the front of the neck more? Lift the chin. Soften your collarbone. Puff the shoulder blades back. Firm the low belly. And slowly lower yourself down. Roll that shoulder back for five, four, three, two, one. Climbing onto your knees, stepping your right leg forward, hands to the hips or to the front leg's thigh. Pull the low belly in and up, straightening your back leg, rising into your lunge. From here, we will externally rotate the, that left leg from the hip socket, grounding the foot on the floor and if you're not able to once you do this square your pelvis to me you may need to widen the stance a little you may need to take that left leg to the left a hair or you may need to take it back a little bit but either way we're setting up for reverse warrior so find warrior warrior two first opening our arms to a t pelvis square to the side of the mat low belly firm and then we'll take our front arm, our right arm, back. And the head can go down or up on the diagonal, holding for 10, 9, 8. Soften the front ribs back. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Coming out of it, soft bend in the knees. Rest for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, set back up, brace the abs, notice the right angle with the front leg, deep lift of the core, straight back leg, take it back, 10 seconds on the clock, low belly is firm, we're breathing with this reverse warrior pose, opening up the posturally tight lats, keep softening the sternum, the breastbone, the front ribs, in towards the back body, widen your collarbone, lift your chin, wonderful, coming out of that, resting for 5, 4, 3, two, one, final set, take it back, 10 seconds on the clock, you can do it, puff your shoulder blades back, pull the low belly in, collarbone wide, shoulder blades pulling together, chin lifted, front foot grounded, come out of it, rest five, four, three, two, turn your toes to face me, let's set up for our warrior two position on the other side, left toes turn to the back of the mat, Right toes, if we were at a clock and the left toes were at 12, the right toes would be at 2.30. Square the pelvis to the side of the mat, arms in a T, taking the left arm up and over now. Hold it there, 10 seconds on the clock, low belly firm. Are you breathing? Make sure you can hear that breath. Very important. Puff the shoulder blades back. Widen that collarbone. 
and coming out of that, windmailing out of that, resting for five, four, three, two, one, take it back, hold for 10 seconds, you can do it, really push yourself, turn the head down on the diagonal if it feels nice, or up on the diagonal, Keep your core involved, way below the belly button. Lift in and up on those muscles that stop your stream of pee. Come out of it. Rest for five, four, three, two, one. Final set. Take it back. Hold it back. Ten seconds. You can do it. Low belly firm. Breathe with me here. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Coming out of it. Turn the toes to me, heel toe your way to the center of the mat with your feet together. And then from here, come over to the wall, kick your right heel to your butt, dancer's pose, drive that thigh back, stretching out the top of the thigh and the, the top of the knee after all those reverse warriors. Breathe with me. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. We inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three. Four, five, release that side, switching sides, set up on the second side, kick the heel to the butt, pointed toes, hold, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, we inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, final breath here, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, brace your abs, from here, turning back around to face me. Great work. We'll stand at the top of our mat, feet hip distance apart for crescent lunge. Stepping our left leg back first, arms come all the way up to shoulder flexion. If this bothers the back, you can interlace them behind the back, opening up the chest. Breathe with me here. 10 seconds on the clock, Crescent lunge, building strength in the quadricep, the lower pelvic floor, and the upper back. Puff the shoulder blades back. No forward lean. Inhale. Exhale. Step your back leg forward. Roll your head to the right. So tucking the chin to the chest, rolling it over the right shoulder, and then through center over the left shoulder. Give me four more head rolls. And once you complete those, you can step, step your left leg back into your crescent lunge, setting up with the arms overhead or interlaced behind the back. 10 seconds on the clock starting now. Firm the low belly. Put that backpack of cement on. Widen the collarbone. Soften the gaze. Deep lift from way below the belly button. Front ribs reaching through the body towards the back body. Low belly firm. Stepping forward. Head circles. Give me six repetitions, rolling over each shoulder three times. Once you complete those, make sure your legs are hip distance apart, knees are soft, abs are bracing in towards the spine. From here, we'll step the left leg back again. Final set, crescent lunge. Make the set count. Ten seconds on the clock starting now. Puff the shoulder blades back. Soften the front ribs, the breastbone and sternum in towards the back body. Widen your collarbone. Keep your gaze a little higher than eye level. Looking good. Brace the abs, step forward. Six head rolls. Take your time. When you finish, you can always grab a sip of water if you finish before we begin crescent lunge on the other side. I'll give you another five. Sometimes it's nice to do those head rolls really slow. All right, let's now set up for our final crescent lunge. Left leg steps, uh, right leg steps back, excuse me, right leg. Arms up in shoulder flexion or interlaced behind the back. Puff the shoulder blades back, widen your collarbone, front ribs reaching through the body towards the back body. Low belly firm, really actively lift up below the belly button. That is going to help support you. That deep lift on the lower pelvic floor. Holding for another three, two, one. Inhale, brace the abs, step it forward. We're going to travel to the back, uh, the bottom of our mat for step to balance in the sagittal plane. Knee flexion to leg extension with dorsiflex toes. Arms are in a T, so knee flexion looks like this, and 
leg extension looks like this. So we, we're extending from the knee joint and dorsiflexing the toes. What I do not want to see is this. When you extend the shin, you round your low back under. So keep the leg as low as you need to have it to be able to maintain a neutral pelvis. A neutral pelvis is somewhere between rounding and arching your low back. Also, keep the low belly in for your back safety. We'll step forward onto our right foot, taking our left leg to knee flexion. Arms are in a T, extending and bending. Extending and bending. One more, notice the toes are dorsiflexed, extend and bend. The lifted leg steps forward, the right leg comes up to knee flexion. Find the balance, soft bend in the knees, no forward lean. Begin those three extensions from your knee joint. Remember the pelvic position, neutral, no rounding under with that pelvis. Once you complete that, step backwards onto the, lift, the leg that was just lifted. Lifting the other leg, finding the balance. Tip your pelvis back, firm your core, put the backpack of cement on, begin those three leg extensions. Once you complete them, the lifted leg, you step backwards through space, challenging your balance, finding knee flexion. Arms are in a T, wrist below shoulders, soft bend in the elbows. Front ribs reaching through the body towards the back body, chin up, gaze soft, collarbone wide. Wonderful. Okay, let's let that go, stepping to the top of our mat, feet hip distance apart. Let's step our right leg back this time, hands to the hips or to the front leg's thigh, lowering that right knee to the floor, bringing our forearms down and stepping back into a forearm plank. Feet hip distance apart. Breathe with me here, 10 seconds on the clock, puff the shoulder blades up. You can elevate the shoulders and then plug them down the spine. Widen your collarbone, lift your chin, involve the underactive neck flexors, lower your knees, rest for five, four, three, two, one. Set back up, 10 seconds on the clock, you can do it. Push your forearms into the mat and also pull out on the mat like you're trying to split it in half. Keep your gaze soft, your jaw soft, the front of the shoulder soft. Puff the back ribs and shoulder blades up towards the ceiling. Lengthen the legs. Lower the knees. Rest for five, four, three, two, one. Final set. Find that forearm plank. Forearms press down and out. Shoulder blades puff up. Wide collarbone. Chin lifted. Energy through the legs so that they're not just kind of hanging out. So imagine these light shooting out your heels, lower the knees, rest for five, four, three, two, one. From here, rise up on your knees. We're going to step the right leg forward, and we'll take the hands down to frame that foot, bringing the right toes towards our left hand, pointing the toes, squaring our pelvis to the front of the mat, moving into pigeon pose. Now you can always go grab a pillow, or if you happen to have a yoga block to slide under your right hip, if you're finding it hard to square the pelvis to the front, you could take a bunch of sweaters if you don't even have towels. You could use your clothes to prop under the hip. Anything will do as long as it helps you square the pelvis to the front of the mat. Go ahead and walk the hands forward, surrendering into our pigeon pose. Let's end with a gratitude practice in our final stretches. Inhale, I am thankful for... Exhale, think or say that person's name. I am grateful for. Exhale, think or say that person's name. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, I am grateful for. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, I am grateful for. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Two more here. Inhale, two. Three, four, five, and exhale. Two, three, four, five. Really dorsiflex that foot that's forward. The back leg can be down. The top of the shin and the top of the foot are on the floor. Brace your abs. Walk your hands forward. Rise back up on the knees. This time the left leg steps forward. Bring the hands down. Left foot towards that right hand. You can dorsiflex the feet the foot, the front leg's foot, when you get down, keep the top of your shin and back leg down. Square the pelvis to the front of the mat. Lift up way below the belly button on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Brace your abs. Walk it forward. Back to our gratitude. Inhale. I am thankful for. Exhale. Think or say their name. I am thankful for. 
exhale. And it doesn't have to be a person. It could be a scenario. It can be an object. It could be your pet. It could be anything. I am thankful for, exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, I am thankful for, exhale, two, three, four, five. Last two breaths here. Inhale, I am thankful for, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, I am thankful for, brace the abs, walk it back, come to a comfortable seated position. Very slowly bringing the hands to the heart in a prayer, softening the facial muscles, the jaw, the chest, and the front body. Bowing your head, the light in me recognizes the light in you. Namaste.